Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Warner. I'm a math professor at Hofstra University. I've written several SAT math prep books, and I've been helping students prepare for the SAT for almost two decades. Today, I'm going to tell you how to increase your SAT math score by attempting fewer questions. But first, if you're already scoring more than 630 in math on official practice tests, then the information in this video is not for you. If you are scoring this high, you will need to attempt all the questions. For the rest of you, pay attention. Some of you may be thinking, but there's no guessing penalty on the SAT. Shouldn't I answer everything since I'm not penalized? And the answer to your question is yes. You should certainly fill in an answer for every question, but this does not mean that you should attempt every question. Just take guesses on the ones that you don't have time to attempt. Now, you've probably been told since you were very young that you need to answer every question that is on the test. For most exams in school, this is good advice. For standardized tests, however, this advice may not be so good. Students often waste time on difficult problems that could be better spent on easier ones, and test-taking anxiety is much higher when there are too many questions to get to in very little time. This usually leads to more errors. In many cases, simply by reducing the number of questions that you answer on the exam, your score can go up 40 points or more. This may seem unlikely, but if you think about it for a moment, it makes perfect sense. If you eliminate just two errors per math section, you add four points to your raw score. This translates to roughly 40 points on the SAT. So how many questions should you be attempting? There's no absolute answer to this, but I have developed a general guideline. You should first make sure that you know what you got on your last SAT, PSAT, or practice test. Then you can use this chart I created to give you a general idea for how many questions you should be attempting in each section. You can download the chart as well as instructions for using the chart correctly by clicking the link in the description below.